Hey, thanks for tuning in to Twang and Bang. If you're looking at this, you're probably thinking somebody's been watching too many action movies or playing too many video games, because this is exactly what it looks like. It's a crossbow upper for an AR-15 lower, but it's not just any crossbow. It's one of the fastest and most powerful crossbows on the market. It also has a bunch of features that you can't find in any other crossbow, some of which make this arguably the most accurate crossbow on the market. And that's why the PSE TAC-15 is coming up next on Twang and Bang. If there ever were a product that exemplified twang and bang, this is it. It's got a twang upper that you put on a bang lower. The TAC in TAC-15 stands for Tactical Assault Crossbow. And it's pretty clear just looking at it that PSC had a certain market segment in mind when they designed this. They weren't just looking to capitalize upon the popularity of the AR-15, but they loaded this with a lot of features as well as cosmetics to give it a tactical look. A look that complements someone's idea of a black rifle. That said, it's 170 pound quad limbs and 17 and a quarter inch power stroke make this a true high performance crossbow. Its features are just as attention getting as the name. The TAC-15 has a built in crank cocker, which is a little bit of a chore to use. It really is only easy to cock if you have it on a table like this. You're not exactly going to bend over and cock it. But one of the cool things about the crank cocker is that it actually has gear reduction, making it almost effortless to cock. You can hear that clicking, which is a ratcheting pull that allows you to stop at any point of the cocking stroke without risk of launching the arrow. But you can defeat the ratcheting pull by holding down a lever at the side there like I'm doing with my thumb, allowing you to uncock the bow. Most other high performance crossbows can only be uncocked by shooting them. Of course, if you're familiar with AR uppers, it's just a simple matter of popping a few pins and you can remove the entire crossbow from your lower. Put on your rifle upper or switch back again at your whim. It's just that simple with ARs. That sound is the last sound that many deer have heard. That was an arrow that left the barrel at about 408 feet per second giving the 425 grain arrow 157 foot-pounds of kinetic energy. You really need a good target to stop these arrows. Unless you think this is a one-shot wonder, here are five shots at 30 yards going into half an inch. The secret to the TAC-15's accuracy is its tunability. The arrow rests in a whisker biscuit up front, which is tunable for elevation. Neither the arrow shaft nor the fletchings contact the rail at any point, and the knock snaps into a string loop, which is tunable for tiller. Using your AR-15 lower means you're using your favorite AR-15 trigger. This is a mil-spec trigger, but you can of course use any AR-15 trigger you want. But the lower trigger is not the true trigger to the crossbow. The AR-15 hammer strikes that lever there, which is the actual trigger for the crossbow. This is how the TAC-15 isolates the trigger you pull from the tension on the string and it does it without any noticeable increase in lock time. One more really cool feature about the TAC-15 is that you don't need a bow press to service it. All you have to do is back the limb bolts out and all the pressure is taken off the cables and the string. You can't do that with just any bow, so don't try it unless the manufacturer of your bow says that you can. But for all of the great features about the TAC-15, there is one obvious disadvantage, and that's its length. It's over three and a half feet long. It's probably not in frame anymore. It's so tall. This is not a bow that you're going to use for a stalking type hunt. It's also not something you're going to want to shoot offhand very frequently because it's going to be so front heavy. But if you're shooting from a blind, if you're shooting, say, in a wheelchair, which I know two, uh, two different people that use this for wheelchair hunting, this has a lot of advantages over other bows. Of course, there's nothing tactical about this. I don't know who or what you'd plan to assault with a crossbow anyway. Like many in the crossbow industry, I'm not a fan of the tactical assault crossbow name. 
Though the 2012 TAC-15 can still be found at Bow retailers, it's actually been discontinued by PSC and is being replaced by the TAC Ordnance. The Ordnance has a number of design changes meant to improve the reliability over the TAC-15. If you want to learn more about the PSC Ordnance, you know where to click. Be sure to log into YouTube and click the like button if you like this video, it really helps me out. Also be sure to click right here to subscribe so you can catch my other videos on bows, guns, and other cool things. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.